Today on Rappler. President Marcos brings his secret weapon to his first state visit to China. Provincial airports affected by the New Year air traffic glitch resume normal operations. President Marcos halts the scheduled hike in PhilHealth monthly contributions. Britain's Prince Harry says he wants his father and brother back. Chris Aquino fans are delighted to see her looking well in a recent picture. Hawkeye star Jeremy Renner suffers critical injuries but is stable. And Blackpink's Jisoo finally debuts as a solo artist. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. pulls out all the stops in his first state visit to China by bringing former President and House Deputy Speaker Gloria Arroyo. In his departure speech on Tuesday, January 3, Marcos says he will be accompanied by Arroyo, whom he calls his secret weapon on these trips. In Thailand, Arroyo joined Marcos in his first bilateral meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Also joining is his sister, Senator Aimee Marcos, who is the chairperson of the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations. While President Marcos aims to heal ties between the U.S. and European Union, he also cites the importance of Philippine-China ties. Marcos repeatedly said the Philippines' relations with China cannot be defined on issues related to the West Philippine Sea. The Marcoses enjoy warm relations with the powers in Beijing. It was his father and namesake who first established diplomatic ties with the Chinese capital. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, or CAAP, says provincial airports affected by technical problems of its air traffic management system resumed normal operations. Here's a list of the airports. Among these are the international airports of Bicol, Bohol Panglao, Puerto Princesa, and Davao. CAAP reiterates its apology to all those affected by the power outage on January 1 that caused flight cancellations and delays until the following day. Flights to and from Metro Manila were put on hold on New Year's Day. Transportation Secretary Jaime Bautista says the government may need more than 13 billion pesos to upgrade the country's air traffic management system, which is behind top airports like Singapore by 10 years. The Senate Committee on Public Services will conduct an inquiry into the incident. The scheduled increase in the monthly contribution of members of the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation, or PhilHealth, will not push through for now, following an order from President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin writes to PhilHealth and the Department of Health asking the agencies to suspend the scheduled increase of the premium rate and income ceiling for 2023. He says the President made the decision in light of the socioeconomic challenges brought by the pandemic and to provide financial relief to our countrymen amidst these difficult times. Times. Before the memorandum, PhilHealth's premium rate was expected to go up from 4% to 4.5% in 2023. The income ceiling was also supposed to increase from 80,000 pesos to 90,000 pesos. Under the universal health care law, premium rates shall gradually increase from 2.75% in 2019 to 5% for 2024 and 2025. Britain's Prince Harry says his troubled relationship with the royal family never needed to be this way. In an excerpt from a TV interview, Harry says he wants to get his father, King Charles, and his brother William back. Harry adds they've shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile. Harry and his wife Meghan stepped down from royal duties in March 2020, saying they wanted the life away from media harassment. In a separate interview with CBS News in the United States, Harry says Buckingham Palace refused to publicly support him and his wife. Both interviews will be broadcast on January 8, two days before publication of Harry's autobiography titled Spare. Fans and supporters say actress and host Chris Aquino appears healthier. In an Instagram post on January 3, Matangas Governor Mark Leviste shares a series of photos with Chris, who spent New Year's Day with him in California, USA. This prompted comments from well-wishers who noted that she's looking better. Chris flew to the US in June 2022 and has been based there since, as she seeks treatment for various conditions. In her latest health update posted on Instagram on December 24, she confirms the diagnosis diagnosis of four autoimmune diseases, two of which are life-threatening and a highly likely fifth disease. Chris earlier said she is set to receive her first cycle of immunotherapy treatment, which will take around 10 months. Actor Jeremy Renner is in critical but stable condition after suffering a traumatic injury while plowing snow on New Year's Day. 
Renner's publicist says he is in the intensive care unit in a Nevada hospital upon undergoing surgery on Monday, January 2. Renner suffered blunt chest trauma and orthopedic injuries in the accident. Renner owns a home in northern Nevada, which received heavy snowfall on New Year's Eve. Last month, Renner shared updates on social media when the area received large amounts of snow. Renner is known for his portrayal of Hawkeye in Marvel movies. This is it, Blinks! Jisoo of South Korean girl group Blackpink is set to debut as a solo artist. Her label YG Entertainment says Blackpink's Jisoo is currently working hard on recording her solo album. While details such as the album's title and release date have yet to be announced. Jisoo will be the last member of Blackpink to have a solo debut. Jenny released her single Solo in 2018. Rosé released the single album R in March 2021, and Lisa released the album La Lisa in September 2021. Outside of music, Jisoo also ventured into acting. She landed her first leading role in the 2021 drama Snowdrop. Blackpink will hold a two-night concert at the Philippine Arena on March 25 and 26. And that's today's wrap. I'm Ralph Rivas. Thanks for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappers YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.